Hi everybody again. In this video, we are going to continue working on the design of our application. We will put focus on the data sources that we will need to build our app. So we will need to identify the different entities and the different data sources. So let's get started. Okay, so let's continue with the design of our application. In our last video, we saw the different screens we need to build. But now it's important to identify where are we going to store the information. We know that from our home screen, we have, for example, the customers and opportunities. So we need to store the customers and opportunities somewhere, right? Okay. So first of all, let's start identifying the different entities we have in our home screen. We have the customer and opportunities entities. Okay, we know that. But there are more entities. For example, from the filter section, we have different filter options for the customer, right? We have, for example, the region, the country, and the industry. So we know that in order to show the list of regions and countries in my dropdowns, that information needs to be uh, stored somewhere, okay? If we go to the customer section, we also know that we have information, for example, from the sales team. If we click on one of the sales team members, we will have a contact card, right? So that contact card will show information that needs to be stored somewhere. So there is another entity here, which is the, let's say, sales member. Now, if we click on the plan button and we open the other screen for managing the action items, we know that we have here other entity, which are the actions. So during the process of building this app, we will identify a lot of entity, right? The important thing is to understand where we're going to store that information or where are we going to be querying that information, okay? In Power Apps, we have several possible data sources. We can, for example, store the customers and opportunities in a SQL database, in an Excel spreadsheet, or in a SharePoint list. Those are some of the common data sources that we can use. In this case, we are going to use, and let's write here the data sources, So, to store the information from customers and opportunities, we are going to use SharePoint list. That's great. Also, to store the information from region, country, and industry, we are going to use SharePoint list. We are going to create uh, a SharePoint list where we are going to store that information we are going to connect our application to the SharePoint, SharePoint list and in that way we will be able to show the information that we need. Great. Now let's talk about the sales member. All the information regarding sales member, like its name, its photo, um, its email, uh, its role, already exists in Office 365. That particular connector has the name of Office 365 users. Okay, so each time we need to get information from a person, we can use this particular connector because the information already exists. We don't need to populate that information, right? And then we have the list of action items, right? For that, we are going to have an integration with Planner. In Planner, you know, which is part of Office 365, you can manage activities and assign those activities to different persons. Since our application is having an integration with Planner, we will need to use a connector for Planner. Right. So those are, at least at this moment, my, my main connectors. Uh, during the process, we will identify new connectors or new data sources that we will need in order to build our app. So that was all for this video. In our next video, we're going to start building the home screen of our application. 
If you enjoy the content, please don't forget to subscribe, comment, and share this video with your friends. Hope to see you again. Bye.